Hi, everybody. It's July 17, 2018. I'm going to start this video with asking all of you to not get caught up in the drama that is absolutely staged for Americans to just fight with one another and to continue the same old, same old behavior believing that there are two parties, believing that um, Trump is going to make America great again. First of all, one person cannot make this country great again. And if you believe that what's going to make America great again is bringing back a few jobs, and you believe what mainstream media is telling you about the economy, well, um, I'm afraid to tell you that you need to do more research and take a, a more expansive uh, view of what is taking place in our country. Now, Trump, okay, we could use the technology that we have to create a invisible fence around the border to keep illegal immigrants from crossing that border. So why are we spending billions of dollars to build a wall? And if you, if you check out, you know, th this wall, you know, everybody goes, yay, he's building the wall. Do you know that he's building, I don't know, 74 miles of wall? Um, and 14 miles is simply to renovate the wall that was there already. So it's only 60 miles of new wall. I think what exists is six, 654 miles of wall. But for the border, what is it? 2,200 miles? Oh my God. You know, I, I'm... <laughs> I can't do this video over. I'm just not. Every single time I start a video, noise starts here. And what is it about these guys in their Mustangs that have to have these modified mufflers that are so friggin' loud? What is it? Hey, look at me. I'm cool. I'm driving a Mustang. What? I got. We have a really big problem with our American, fellow Americans. I listen to this every single day, numerous times a day. I have five, five people, five people here who have Mustangs with modified bufflers and they rev their engines, but all five live right next door to me. <sighs> All right. Look, guys. I will admit I am not doing well. Between the stress and frustration and uh, how people are behaving, it's really frightening. Um, God. You know what's interesting too is that this guy drove in the opposite direction of getting out of this apartment complex. So he's got to drive right back past me. You can hear this guy go on to the street and getting out of this apartment complex, you know, it, it's a ways. You get, you get, there he goes, revving the engine. <laughs> Other neighbors are upset. I, I just don't get, I, I don't understand people. I don't understand their behavior anymore. I just don't. Um, they do things without any concern for the effect that they have on other 
people. They don't care. And I'm going to post a video on details of what I have been experiencing here because I am really uh, something something very wrong has gone on with the American people and the self-centeredness the lack of restraint that people are uh, exhibiting in terms of their own behavior not caring if they hurt people absolutely not caring at all it's all about me 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 but you probably can't hear this. I can hear him still revving his engine. And when he pulls out onto the main street, my God, you, you, it's like you can't get away from this kind of stuff. I, I feel like I've just been dropped in hell or put on another planet. Yeah, the people look the same, but wow, they don't behave the same at all. And let me know if any of you are experiencing people in your area that are behaving in ways that not too long ago you would not have seen because people would have known, hey, you just don't behave this way because you're going to get called out. You're going to get shamed by people. Well, all of that is gone. But this Trump thing, okay, we could use electromagnetic frequencies to keep people out. So why is he building this wall? And why is he spending billions of dollars of your tax dollars to build only, well, to renovate 14 miles and to build 60 miles? We've got 2,200 miles. And I'm going to read an article that somebody wrote on this wall. You know, so the wall, when it was spoken of during the Obama years, so many people were talking about, wait a second here, that wall is going to be erected to keep us in, not to keep them out. But now everybody is like, yay, Trump is building the wall, and they're not keeping in mind, hey, that wall may imprison us. As 5G will imprison us, and who is the guy that made 5G a national security priority and who instructed our government to pay for the infrastructure built in our rural areas because the infrastructure has pretty much been already uh, built in our mega regions those cities like New York and um, Houston and Dallas the, the, the mega regions the Texas Triangle the uh, is it Piedmont Atlantic or Atlantic Piedmont, which is the mega region where I live, uh, but all of the mega regions, the major cities already. Here, here he comes again with his friggin' Mustang. Uh, he just, I, I don't know, does he go anywhere? Now, I know where the stores are, so he didn't go anywhere, he just drives it around and drives it through the parking lot. And this is okay. Because I heard from a neighbor that they complained. And they said, well, it's legal, so there's nothing we can do about it. Well, they don't do anything here anymore. You know, it's like nobody cares about the tenants anymore. Ah, peace. I can feel when he shuts off that car, it's like there's a release. These people have no idea the effect that they are having on other people. Okay, I'm sorry for this, um, but it actually, not directly, but indirectly relates to this video. Okay, so you want to get uh, caught up in all of the Mishikos that's going on. Um, but getting back to the 5G, yes, that infrastructure has been pretty much built already in the major cities and Trump is making you pay for the infrastructure in the rural areas because he's so concerned about all of those people that they have the ability to download really quickly a video. Are you kidding? All right and remember Donald Trump who is this guy? He's the nephew of John Trump 
John Trump, the guy that was selected to review Tesla's papers after Tesla was murdered. John Trump said to Donald, and Donald said this in an interview years before he ever announced his run for president or the presidency. He said that his uncle was brilliant. We have good genes in our family. Spoken like a true narcissist. Anybody who can trust a narcissist, you, you either you just don't know about these pathological narcissists and their ability to manipulate people. And this is what this guy has done to an awful lot of people who are quote unquote awake. Those who were talking during the Obama years about all of the dangers and suddenly those dangers are no longer dangers because it's Trump doing it. Those people who were who were talking about <laughs> the manipulation of the data to come out with these uh, glorious glowing reports on the unemployment and the economy they could see right through all of that manipulative you know all of the uh, manipulated data now they don't they claim that Trump has just turned around this economy all by himself he is just well he's Superman all of this drama we're still on Russia we are still on Russia I turn on the radio I listen to these talk show hosts and it's like they're locking you locking you into issues that go on endlessly with no resolve. Nothing gets resolved. Nothing gets resolved in our country. So you got that QAnon who is also, um, well, an awful lot of people are right smack there. Hey, arrests are going to be made. So I can sit back because because what we're hearing from QAnon, Trump is. He's getting rid of the deep state. And he is making America great again. Okay. Well, an awful lot of people love hope. And they don't care if it's false hope. Just give me some hope so I can sit back and do nothing. And just feel really just comfortable in my delusion that everything's going to be okay. Nobody knows for sure if QAnon is a PSYOP or not. If it's a PSYOP, it's worked beautifully because I think it's gotten thousands of people to sit back and do nothing. The only way that any, that we have any hope whatsoever is if you actually take action. Hope rests in action. Not listening to this QAnon person who is giving uh, these clues so everybody just follows it like they're following the crumbs in a forest. Look, I'm sorry. I am really kind of, um, I'm at my wit's end having lived in an environment that is just brutal for me in terms of you know, um, just getting through every single day and trying to maintain, trying to maintain, trying to feel okay, trying to, uh, yeah, this is not life, uh, this is survival. And when you're in survival mode, you can't get out of it. You're there for every single day, 24 7, for years and years and years and years. You get a little bit, well, Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. And then you never ever want to sound like this. You never want to express yourself, you know, in terms of what is going on with you personally because you get attacked. And people roll their eyes. And they think that they know what you're living. Um, and if you only did this, well, you'd be fine. And I don't know why you're not doing that. So that's how people think. We've all been so programmed to think in the worst ways. And we've got to really 
reevaluate how we think. But we're still caught up in this Hillary Clinton and Trump and Russia and Comey and, oh, um, you know, uh, the. Yeah, I, I've been listening to the radio shows when I drive in my car, and I cannot believe what I'm hearing. And it is the most unbelievable, jacked up, exaggerated bullshit coming out of the mouths of so many people. But what does it do? It just, it maintains the drama that everybody loves to get involved in. Drama! Hey! Well, think carefully about what Karl Rove said decades ago. We're an empire now, and when we act, we create our own reality. And while you're studying that reality, judiciously, as you will, we'll act again, creating other new realities which you can study too. And that's how things will sort out. We're history's actors, and you, all of you, will be left to just study what we do. Thought-provoking? Absolutely. What you are presented on a daily basis is a reality being created for you to study. We don't get to live our lives. We get to study the reality that they create for us. These staged, dramatic plays that have been going on really my entire life. Get away from it. It's important to just kind of get, you know, a feel for what's going on on a daily basis from mainstream media. Um, what are they up to? What are they up to? And what are they uh, putting out there? But then think, okay, what is it that they don't want us to see? What is going on behind the curtain. The implementation of Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, the 5G rollout, the lockdown grid, the prison is still being constructed. So while you are sitting back thinking, oh, the economy, here, Fed, economy growing considerably stronger, Pentagon developing mind control techniques? <laughs> really? <laughs> that You mean they're just developing them now? They're not using mind control methods? Uh, you, you read this stuff and it's like, oh my God. And I have been really overwhelmed with the uh, WTF articles. Every single day. Everything is a WTF. How do you post everything? I don't anymore. I, I just can't do it. Chicago could soon test Universal Basic Income Program. Yeah, the Universal Basic Income Program, that uh, agenda is still rolling forward. Agenda 2030, still rolling forward. 5G rollout, get it out to the rural areas so we know exactly what's going on in the rural areas. <sighs> the geoengineering has not stopped. The artificiality that has taken over our world like a malignant cancer has not stopped. You know, we have we have far more going on than hey Hillary is going to be arrested. Oh good, we have now the construction of sixty miles of wall that you're paying for. Oh. You want to get caught up in the bullshit that they're feeding you, go ahead. But it's not going to get us anywhere. What if Hillary Clinton gets arrested? 
So, do you think geoengineering is going to stop? Do you think the 5G rollout is going to stop? Do you think the infrastructure for the psychopathic, elitist, globalist nut jobs, you think they're just going to say, okay, they won, Trump, you beat us, deep state dead? Let's say if they even put out Hillary indicted, let's say you see the police walking Hillary Clinton out of her home in handcuffs and everybody will go, wow. And what if then Hillary just goes off to a beautiful island to live out the rest of her sick, evil years? You know that that's possible. Everything that we see happening coming out of Washington, D.C. and our state governments, most of them, certainly California, it's a staged drama psyop to stick all of you, keep you in your delusion that things are just going to be rosy. It's been very frustrating. And I may post a video on, you know, these, now this QAnon fight between people who have YouTube channels. And I have been very upset with one of them that I can't believe what I'm hearing. Talk about drama. Talk about mischaracterizing other people. And when you, when you exaggerate, you're lying. So I, someone that I really respected, now, I don't, I don't even know. Trust is really important. So when you're left with a society filled with people that you can't trust because everybody's lied to you and you, you know, see, you know, YouTube and people just spitting out their presumptions as if it's fact, people calling this one a shill and that one a shill, people posting videos on other people calling them a shill and lying directly, uh, direct uh, outright lies about other people. Well, I got a subscriber who sent me a video on this guy who was saying things about me that were outright lies, claiming I had these, this, these accounts or a GoFundMe account and a Patreon account and People have said that I'm rolling in dough because I'm an attorney. Oh my God. You hear this stuff from people and you know that, okay, this is happening with people who have knowledge about what is taking place here in our country. You would, well, I did. I, I guess I had these expectations that they would be of a higher consciousness, but knowledge and consciousness, they're, they're two very different things. So you can have an awful lot of people who are knowledgeable about all of these agendas, but they're still operating on a low level of consciousness and they screw things up for an awful lot. of those who have a higher consciousness who actually want to do something to um, to organize to you know well forget about it it's just not going to happen because there's very few who have those two qualities knowledge and a higher level of consciousness and they're not spitting out things to cause division and they're not, you know, uh, operating in ways, behaving in ways where it's clear that they're not even aware of their own behavior and they have no control of their brain. 
So when they're not even aware of their own behavior, not aware of the difference between a presumption and a fact, uh, not aware that what they write publicly, post, it absolutely influences either positively or negatively. The ripple effect. No, it, it seems like so many people have no conscious awareness of the ripple effect of their behavior. We're at war, okay? We're at war. And then you have an awful lot of people who you know are still stuck in their normalcy bias because they're still living comfortably. So they, they no doubt have that invincibility operating and no doubt they're not even aware of it. So they go on, they know we're at war, and they just live their life. They're like, nothing's happening. And unfortunately, you know, I think a lot of that comes from that low level of consciousness, which is the ego-driven consciousness. Everything is about me, me, me. Even though they may do things that are nice for other people, um, help out other people. It's still about me, me, me. Until you get to a point where truth is the most important thing to you. And yes, I am saying this. Truth. And you can equate truth with God, love, even Jesus. Until truth guides you. You won't get beyond that life is really just about me and my having my own comfort. And you won't be genuinely concerned about others. It won't be that generative care, generative, ge it generates you to take action. That's the difference. That is the difference. So many people think that they care. And you can see what they care about by watching them. What they devote their time to is what they care about. And most people care about money. That's it. Money, my own comfort. And to get out of that requires work. So when we have an awful lot of people who are in the quote-unquote awake crowd who are operating at that level of consciousness, well, <laughs> we're not going to get anywhere. When we have an awful lot of people who, you know, during the Obama years were so, you know, this is a psyop, 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 psyop. Now, Trump, oh, it's true. It's the truth. And we have now people who have an awful lot of subscribers who have these wonderful voices. They're so pretty to listen to. And they come out and, and essentially say, what I say is the truth. What they say is not. When it's an opinion. It's an opinion, not the truth. They, they can't even distinguish between their opinion and the truth. This is very upsetting because all of it is connected to what we're all confronting. The takedown of not just the United States, but all countries for these unbelievably twisted psychopaths to control all of us. So when you see people who are so concentrated, their concentration is on the dramas, on the dramas taking place, uh, you're like, okay. And they're not talking about the critical dangers that face us every single day. I did not 
intend <laughs> that Mustang set me off. And I'm going to post this, and then I'm going to come back and do another video giving you a lot of information, channels, and articles, letting you see that one of the reasons why we are so messed up is because of these electromagnetic frequencies that they absolutely do use as a weapon. Now 5G, boom, that's, that's the ultimate weapon. So you keep thinking that Trump is going to make America great again. And don't ever talk about 5G. Don't ever talk about Trump making that a national security priority and getting you to foot the bill to build the infrastructure for 5G, the lockdown grid. So as you're applauding Trump, yay, you're also applauding your own imprisonment. Links are below.